Skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming, and it gives me great pleasure giggity, to open up some of these Core 2019 Standard Showdown prize bags. You can redeem them by whooping butt and taking numbers at your local game store, typically on a Friday night, and their Friday night magic event. Also, I'm going to be cracking open this from Carlos. I think it says Duran. Uh, I could be mistaken. If I am mistaken, it's your sloppy writing, son. I'll be cracking that in a little bit, see what's inside there. But first things first, let's smack this sucker open. Now, I don't think I pulled anything crazy out of these yet. So, the excitement and the hype is real. Already starting off with a dual land. You see, you just don't go wrong with dual lands, guys. Yes, it's rotating out in a few seconds, but what are you going to do? Nothing. Inspiring Vantage, we all know what it does. It enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. Wind Reader Sphinx, that's absolute horse poo-poo. Whenever a creature with flying attacks, you may draw a card, 3-7. Now, there's only a, a couple Sphinx, I think, that are really any good, and this is definitely not one of them. A Foil Mountain by Elena Danner, rhymes with Tanner. Full House, Stephanie, there you go, lineage. Oh my God, Scape Shift Foil! See, this, this, this is the kind of stuff that really gives me pleasure, all right? I mean, you don't see what I'm doing with my other hand, do you? You sure don't. Oh, my God. Scape shift. That is, that is nice and nasty and shiny, and oh, my God, we just pulled it. That is like a huge freaking hit. I got to clean that up on the floor. Oh, my gosh. No way, guys. No way. No way. You saw it here. You saw it here. That was me getting my first pube. All right, wow, that was really cool. That was really, really cool. Wow, we, I don't, we're not gonna top that. We're not gonna top that, no way. No way, no how we're gonna top that. You never know, you never know. Stupider things have happened here. Wow, we're just like cracking open all uh, dual lands on top here, huh? Dragon Skull Summit. Uh, oh yeah, for those of you who don't know what uh, Escape Shift does, sacrifice any number of lands, search a library for up to that many land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Yeah, it's a fun card. There are decks built around just that card. Look them up. There you go. Uh, Dragon Skull Summit, just another dual land. There you go. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Really, really neat card. Um, I actually have a couple decks that do run this, and I know a lot of people have decks that run this sucker. Uh, it's a great way to draw cards, let me tell you. Um, just by paying some energy because when it attacks, because of the menace, it's a 2 1. It comes out rather quickly, and then you can just pay 2 energy. Uh, lose a life, draw a card, but man, uh, this card really can get you some card advantage early on in the game. Let me tell you. I've seen it win many times. Forest. Good old Forest Blaster. Dread Green Seeker. So we're definitely not going <clears> to. <throat> well, we can. We can. But a Mythic Foil, and it was Scape Shift. Come on. That's just stupid nasty. You just don't, the sauce just doesn't, this doesn't get any hotter than that, okay? Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. God darn it. We are pulling all the good stuff, man. That's off ripples. Look at that. Look at that. Just just on top, sitting there, a nice, just Torrential Gear Hulk, you know. No big deal, no big deal. Oh, I love this card, Vanquisher's Banner. Uh, real quick, this card has been kicking my butt lately. It's upsetting me. When Torrential Gear Hulk enters the battlefield, you may cast target instant card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile instead, it's a 5 6. But really, really card, uh, really great card that comes in uh, handy uh, a little later in the game, mid to late game, and just can totally change uh, a game around. Trust me on that. Vanquisher's Banner, it's a 5 drop. It enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of the chosen type. Get plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a creature spell of the chosen type, draw a card. Good old Vanquisher's Banner. We've got a foil swampy up in here. That is looking silly. Elena Danner rhymes with Tanner. All right. Full house. Anyone? No one? All right. I'm, whatever. You know what? You know what? Fine. Fine. You don't want to hear about Danny Tanner. That's fine. All right? I don't care. I really don't care. Wayward Servant. Foilage. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. And you gain one life. Uh, I want to make a deck with this card. <laughs> I think I'm going to. I think, therefore, I am. I'm going to save this one for last. Let's see what's up inside. My little Carlos sent me a little some goodies, man. Uh, I think it says Carlos. Sure, it says Carlos. Let's see what's up. Right, Y'all. Got some mailings. Got some, got some, got some return address in. Uh-oh. Let me pull it back. Look at that right there. Noise. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and crack open first peek and sign, please. First pack to sign, please. Gotcha. Dear Joey Moss, make sure there's no, okay, there's a dress on the bottom there. Uh, dear Joey Moss, Hi, it's your boy Carlos again. I sent you two packs with cards that I want you to sign them, please. Whoa. And also, please open them uh, in order. I have labeled them so that it's easy to know the order. The pack with the black sleeve contains a few of my favorite cards that I have ever obtained. I also sent you some cards for you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, okay, the black pack is your favorite cards. For Joey, okay, this is for me. Second super pack to open and sign. Sign a lot of cards. Sign. That's a lot to sign. Uh, Carlos, I will do this this one time, but uh, in future encounters with this, um, I'm only going to sign like two cards for, from now on, just so you guys know. Um, I'm not going to get carried away. Um, unless like you're a patron or something. Like I'm just not going to. I don't know. It's just. I love you guys, but man, 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 man. Uh, Demon of Dark Schemes. Let's check out this bad boy. It's a six dropper. When Demon of Dark Schemes enters the battlefield, all other creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. We already know what this does. Nice little card. Desecrated Tome. That's legit, my dude. Whenever one or more creatures' cards leaves your graveyard, create a one, one black. Bad creature token with flying. I could see this being used somehow. I just haven't been able to really get around to it. Um, Naru, okay. The legit little wizard there. Got some flipperage. Oh, Omniscience, nice. I, I, okay, okay, okay. I'm, oh, escape ship. Yeah, but I got the foil, baby. Ooh. <laughs> and, uh, baby, it's a smile. Very, very nice. Um, actually, I don't mind. You know what? I don't care if you send me expensive cards to sign. That's fine. <laughs> By all means, send away. Send away. The more pricey, baby, the better. Um, I'll just sign these really quick right now. Just so you all know. Let's see here. What if I messed up? Wouldn't that just like butcher and destroy the entire card? That would just really suck, wouldn't it? I mean, that would just really upset some people. Not not like signing this right now is upsetting anyone. No, 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 no. Of course not. That doesn't upset nobody at all whatsoever. No, 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 no. There we go. Look how pretty and nice that signature is. I know, I know. It's crazy. I know. One of these days, I feel I'm going to mess up, like, signing a really expensive card. And uh, it's just going to be god-awfully terrible. And people are going to go home crying to their mothers. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to do that. But Carlos told me to. Carlos said, mess that signature up, boy. I'm not sure how this is going to come out, so here we go. Well, it came out decent. Depending on some of the foils, depending on the sets when you uh, sign them, they can come out kind of weird. Like Dominaria, if you send me a card to sign of Dominaria, it's it's not going to look that great. I'm telling you right now. Um, I've signed a few Dominarias, and uh, it doesn't like these Sharpies at all, man. It does not like Sharpies at all, I'm telling you. All right, what we got here? For Joey Moss. I get some goodies. Yes. Wing. Oh, I do love Samu, the testicle. That is good stuff. And Omnixilis of the Black Oath. I don't think I have... Maybe I, I, I gotta have him. Was he commander? 2014, maybe not. Each opponent loses one life. You gain one life equal to the life loss. This way, I love this card already. Uh, put a 5-5... Five, five, I'm gonna make a deck around him. Put a 5-5 five, five black demon creature token with flying on the battlefield. You lose two life. You get an emblem with. Two, sacrifice a creature. You gain X life and draw X cards where X is a sacrifice creature's power. Omnixilis of the Black Oath can be your commander. Pretty legit. Uh, I do appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. You do want to do like my black stuff. And I did talk about Sam and how much I enjoy him, so that's sweet. All right, all right. Holy ball blasting. A Tezzeret. A Tefiri Time Bender. Oh, there's Dominaria. We're going to see how it comes out. Kiora, the Crashing Wave. These are all foils, by the way. Nasty. Any uh, Jaya Ballard. All right, here we go. I'm going to show you how this works. Here we go. Um, sign these puppies up. Second super pack got to open and sign. This one's nasty, man. This card is nasty. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm trying. Okay, there we go. I'm trying not to make it sign goofy, but you can see like it's a little different looking on the signature. Foil cards can be a little goofy. Now, here's Dominaria. Ooh, it's just so different. Well, that one came out good. Maybe it's the foil dominaria that's goofy. 
Um, do we have any foil demon area? We do have a foil demon area. So we're going to see together what it's like. Very, very interesting. Or maybe it was, maybe, maybe it could have been um, my Sharpie that I was using. It really could have been. It could have been. That came out good. Yeah, that came out good. All right, there you go, my dude. All signed up, all sleeved. You know what I'm saying? Giggity, giggity, goo. All right, back to this core set. We've got the last pack to crack, Jack. I will get those out to you probably today, my dude. Um, you didn't recur you include any return postage, Sonny Boy. That's terrible. That costs money. No return postage. That is terrible, Carlos. That is really, really bad. Uh, Yahini, Undying Partition, Sheltered Thicket, uh, Swampy, and a Start to Finish. That's the whole kit and caboodle, guys. Ah, uh, this was a more fun opening, though, for darn sure. But, you know, just to point out, I mean, if everybody sent me something, or, like, even, like, ten people sent me something without postage, really quickly, that's going to rack up. Because this is going to cost me probably about a buck fifty, two bucks to about a buck fifty to two bucks to ship back to them. And, uh, yeah, that's no bueno, man. That's no bueno. All right, guys, uh, I love you. Make sure you smack that, uh, that like button because that's what people do around here on Bad Boy Gaming. We hit the like button. All right, all right, good. Um, and don't forget to check out that video from a couple days ago. There is a giveaway, nasty sauce, giving away a standard showdown pack. As always, PLA.